up to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to Nisi W Beauty my name is Denise or Nisi if you are new here I welcome you I hope you enjoy what you see and consider subscribing this is my makeup basket for the week of March the 12th I am going to do what I always do I am going to tell you what I used last week or what I didn't use last week and we will move on to the things that I will be using for this week i will tell you let me put this down here i will tell you though already and up front retro love is going to stay in my basket for this week only because i didn't get to use it last week um i did use it today to create the look that i have on now but you will see that tomorrow in my monday morning makeup and um we will jump on. Let me just, because I forgot to mention this when I recorded the Monday morning makeup video. Two things. Today is the first day of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Let me make sure that I am right. Come on. Yes. Today is the first day of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And actually, as I am looking at this, you can get 50% off of the Tarte Man Eater Mascara in Black. The Tarte full Face Tape Full Coverage Vegan Foundation. So that's $20. The Man Eater Mascara is $12.50. They have the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. 50% off, normally $43, it's $21.50. The Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum, it is $25.50, normally $51. The MAC Long, oh, I gotta go on my card for these. The MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot Eyeshadows, normally $25, are $12.50. I need to make sure the ones that are in my basket don't sell out. The Zit Sticker, and I guess that is what it says. Normally $16 to $40. It's now $8 to $20. It brushes for Ulta Select Products. Now $10 to $11.50. Normally $20 to $23. And then they usually have other deals as well. So hope you can hope you can get your hands on some of those things. And my two paint parts are gone. Damn it. I'm so irritated right now. Let me see what's left. Because I did not get up soon enough. And because I did not get on here and get what I wanted, the ones I really wanted is gone. So if you wanted, and I'm going to get into my makeup basket, but if you want a contemplative state, forget about it. Um, let me get groundwork. And... Damn it, I really wanted, um, what was that one I wanted? It had, it almost looked like a duochrome. Um, I don't want black mirror. What's this that's crossed out? Bougie. That's the one I wanted. It looks brown with like blue sort of glittery particles and it completely missed out on it. It says it's a red brown with a pearlescent green. So we got groundwork, which is a mid-tone taupe. And my old favorite laying low, I guess, is what I'll put in my bag. Anyway, let me finish this video. If it's not there when I'm done doing my videos for the day, then it was not meant for me. So, we are going to jump into what I used last week. We already covered the Retro Love palette. That is going to stay. I used the Sydney Grace Where the Wild Things Grow palette in the deep shades. And I really, really like this little palette. I didn't think I, you know, I thought it was, eh, okay. But as you can see, I used that green and then I use some of the neutral shades as well. But really, really enjoyed using that palette. 
I used the Nabla Read My Mind or Read My Mind palette. And I used this little top quad right here. I have to say I was not as impressed as I thought I would be because a lot of people like Nabla, but I just, I guess I'll just try the other quads, but I just, maybe the colors were too light. I don't know. I just wasn't that impressed with the first time using it. I used the KVD Moon Garden Vegan Eyeshadow Palette and absolutely loved it. And here we go again. We went into some green and some neutrals. So I feel like I've sort of had the same eye look twice this week. But I like this palette. I enjoy using it. Um, and the other palette that I put in here that I did not use is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity Palette. But I'm going to put this one back. And we'll pull it out maybe closer to spring or summer. But that's what that looks like. And I did not use that one. I used the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. And the number 11 Juvia's Place. What is this called? And any other time I would know it, I am magic. That's going back. I have two Mally blushes in here that I did not get a chance to use. And this is her um, Shimmer Shape and Glow line. And these two did not get a chance to use. And I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these in there. And the... Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I don't think I used. And that looks like that. So we're going to keep that in there also. The Fenty Pro Filter Powder in Honey. Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Honey. Second time buying it. I like that one. That one is going to go back. And I don't know if I used this. I think I used that today. So that's that. Oh, so we'll just tell you what it is that I used today. So you know it's going to be in my basket. That is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. And I have it in the shade 5 or medium tan. I like that. And we are going to jump in. Well, let's jump into, I'm going to pull this out of my basket because I'm going to put some oldies but goodies in there. And these are from Bare Minerals. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. But this is the Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. And I have it in the shade Clove, which is the darker, and the shade Chai, which is the lighter. And I usually just mix the two together. So we'll put those in there. I am also going to pull out, which I did use last week, and now it's getting confusing, <laughs> um, the Minted Bronzer in the shade Yacht Life. So that's going to come out because I'm just going to keep the... Um, hourglass palette in there and I am going to replace the Jupiter's Place foundation with the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer and I have it in the Tan Deep Sand which looks super light but I did use it today and I like it as far as a powder I am replacing the What is her name? Fenty Beauty Powder with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder Sheer to Full Coverage Finishing Veil. Too many words. And I have it in the shade Deep. So it looks like this. So we're going to put that in there. And I think I am down to my eyeshadows. 
<clears throat> eyeshadow palettes. And even though I'm keeping Retro Love in there, I still pull five eyeshadow palettes. The first one, a lot of these are like, I've had them in my collection for a while. And they barely get any love, so I pulled them out. The Urban Decay Naked Wild West. And that one looks like this, as if you didn't know. That is the Naked Wild West. I have one from Pinky Rose Cosmetics, and this is the Luscious Plum Palette. And I got this one a while back from BoxyCharm, and it looks like this. The reason why I pulled this because these three shadows right here were absolutely calling me these three right here so i am definitely going to be using that i pulled out the dominique cosmetics latte 2 palette also from boxycharm and that looks like that I pulled the Smoke Session Palette from Melt, and that looks like that. And the last palette I pulled is Gigantic, and it is the Be Perfect Carnival, the Antidote Palette, which was a collab with Stacey Marie. This thing is huge. And we'll just look at that look at the we'll just put that right there but this palette looks like this and I know a lot of people are now steering away from larger eyeshadow palettes but I still love large eyeshadow palettes I just think you can just pull this one palette out and do every single thing you need it of course these are not really good for travel technically and it fits down in there sideways that's perfect um, technically not good for travel because it's so large, but if you did decide to travel with it, you don't need anything else. Everything is covered. So, that is it, you all. That is my makeup basket for the week of March the 12th. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day. And don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Bye.